since I'm working at four on 400 things at the same time, and I have uh, a, did a kind of demonstrated how I did this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this with resin, and I put some tape on here because I really don't want the resin up here here. And I'm going to mod podge around this edge of this tape to seal it because normally I use electrical tape because it works better and the stuff doesn't get underneath. So um, I went ahead and put some on. I'm going to use I use this mod podge. It really doesn't matter which one because it's going to kind of be. Um, covered up what have you because it's really just to seal the edge of this so the resin doesn't get underneath uh, and then I'll do I'm gonna probably do some little you know embellished pieces to put on there and um, I don't know we're gonna make it a 3d kind of a deal uh, the whole cup itself maybe uh, I was thinking about doing some of the under the sea type um, you know things on it I don't know for sure if that's what I'm gonna do but I was thinking about putting maybe the mermaid or whatever or maybe doing a couple of the I don't know I have a bunch of different things I have um, beside the mermaid and the shells and I've got the octopus so we may just do a, a, a few different things um, and do a little underwater scene on here I may even paint a little bit at the bottom to make it look sandy man yeah, probably not but um, all I'm doing right now is I'm just sealing where the tape is because I don't I don't want the resin to go underneath uh, this tape and I know that when this dries this really good thick stuff dries uh, it'll form a good seal and the resin doesn't um, oh doesn't harm it any doesn't penetrate it because I use it all the time when I make um, coasters to uh, you know attach whatever this is the Mod Podge I use under the po I, when I I can't speak English today this is the Mod Podge that I use to uh, affix um, things to my blanks in the coaster to my resin resin blanks so anyway that's this step and I'm gonna let it dry and then the next time um, and the next next step for this is I'll put some I will I'll make some pieces to go on it anyway so there we go and that's that's as simple as that I could cover this whole thing with this and let it go but this is not waterproof um, in my experience whereas the resin once it cures is absolutely uh, waterproof. It's not dishwasher safe, but it's it's waterproof. So, all right, that's it. Thanks. Okay, so I decided what I'm going to do on my cup. I'm going to make some uh, resin pieces. I know this is going to be kind of. Uh, very textured because they're gonna kind of stick out some. But I'm gonna go ahead and make some up and um, we'll pull them out of the uh, molds when they're not quite hard, you know, while they're still pliable and I'll be able to make them conform to this um, cut. Now one thing, I am gonna spray some silicone in this which is not a big deal because the paint I used on here has silicone so when I um, use my, uh, when I do start coating that uh, with the resin, I'm going to have to put some silicone in it anyway. I'll go ahead and I'll do, you know, I'll clean it up with um, cornstarch and some alcohol, but the main thing is uh, I'm going to have to probably put some, uh, you know, I'm just going to put a couple of squirts and I'm going to rub this all in here because it got porous. And I'm afraid that she's not going to work anymore. So I really want to get it in there in all these little places. Um, I mean, I hate to start doing that, but I don't think I'm going to have any choice as far as that goes. So I just sprayed a little bit of this silicone in here. And I'm hoping that she will release, you know, a lot better than she did uh, when I used her on the last last thing I used her for but it may be because she's so becoming so uh, 
course, it, it may not help to put uh, silicone, but you know what? It's worth a try. It's worth a try. But like, but the silicone may rise to the top. So I don't know. This is an experiment because I've never sprayed them before. I usually just get new ones. So, all right. So she's been oiled up. So I'm going to put this out of the way. Like I'm going to make four ounces of Easy Cast Up. And like I always say, this is Terry because it's Terry. Because I have dogs, so everything in this house, I have cats too, but everything in this house is hairy. So I'm going to take two ounces of hardener, and I'm going to take two ounces of the resin. And like I said before, I don't worry about the, um, the yellowing uh, in the hardener. It doesn't seem to really affect anything, so I'm not going to... I'm not going to get excited. Um, and if you've seen my other videos, you know I don't get real excited. Anyway, all right, so I'm going to put this in here. But I'm wondering if I should put a little glitter. That'd be fun. In the things that, since this is so flat, the other one's not very shiny. I'm wondering if I put some glitter in it. I don't know. We're going to make this a girly cup. I think, and heck, I may not use it. I make so many, I have so many that I've made, and I may not use it. So, and as per my usual, my dogs are running around acting silly. They can be laying down asleep, and as soon as I go come in here to do this, they're gonna come in here and play and run around. Bad dogs. Okay, so we've got this sturdy in. Make sure that it's it's clear that there's not any um, you know uh, ribbons of areas where the the hardener is not fully incorporated. Always remember to scrape your sides too. That's super 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 important. All right, so I think I'm going to make these a couple of different colors. So I'm going to use cat was involved in that one. So I'm going to make, let's see, how about we make four different colors, maybe. Let me get another way these little cups out. And I'm just going to divide this up, and then we'll put maybe some glitter in there. So, I mean, these are small molds, so it's not, I don't know what color I'm going to make my octopus. Let's see. Oh, they're okay chasing the cat now. All right, so it's ought to be good. All right, so I know for sure I'm gonna put some of that pretty green, uh, this this shade here in it. So, all right, I'm gonna leave that upside down because this stuff will run out. And I can use that reuse that cup. So let me get a couple more of these. Somebody said the skewers work. Skewers commented on one of my videos that skewers work really good to spill, stir that, but I don't have any, so, but I am going to invest in some, so I think this is, this should be that color right there, I'm going to put some of this in here, and, um, get stirred up, and this, that paint in there actually does already have a little bit of silicone in it. Which is okay. What color what do you think I should make with this? Is it pretty dark? So let's see. How about we make? I think I'm gonna go ahead and make my. I don't know why I like this color so much, but I'm gonna go ahead and see if we can fill her up. Um, here. And make her this color. If there's a little bit left. We'll put it in something else. But. Okay, that should have. Build her up pretty good. I'm going to scrape this here. Make sure that she gets in there. Alright, looks pretty good. Alright, so. Alright, so we're going to use a couple of pieces. Put a couple of these and we'll make a. I'm not going to make the. the what you call it? Uh, what am I thinking of? 
the I can't even think of the uh, octopus this color and see sometimes with these molds you kind of got to kind of push on them a little bit because they're it's hard to get stuff in so but so I just kind of smash it in there and it looks like it's pretty good and it may have a little bit on the outside which is okay too I'm not going to get excited. All right. Um, let's make this one here. And I'm not going to do this one super thick like I did before so I can move it some. Uh, starfish be good. Um, big starfish here be good. Let's put this. I guess everything's going to end up this color. I know you people with dogs can sympathize with uh, this shenanigans going on. I don't know what they think they're doing, but I think they're uh, I think they're chasing a the cat. No, no, they're just being rough. All right, so I'm gonna put. I'm gonna leave that one kind of thin too because I, I don't. I'm not real fond of that shell. So I'm gonna put this over here, and I'm gonna go ahead and um, I sure got an awful lot of uh, paint, a uh, paint, uh, resin here. I'm gonna go ahead and just make them maybe just some psychedelic, -y, not psychedelic, but some different colors. All right, I'm gonna be just gonna hang, go ahead and put this on here. All right, so they'll be different colors. I'm gonna chuck that. All right. So, um, since I did that, I'm going to make my little, um, I guess the wrong color purple, but I think it'll be okay. I'm going to make my uh, octopus this purple shade. Just a little bit of it in there. Alright, so. So we'll make it kind of grapey. Hopefully this should fill it. Uh, it may not fill it. It may take more than one, but we'll see. So. Put this in here. It's actually probably enough. It's about one ounce that I make up in there, so it's about what it took. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pour it all, and it'll run out the side, which is fine. I don't care. All right. So what I'm going to do is pick this up and kind of make sure I've got it smashed in there good. And I'll go ahead and just slide some off on the top of here and it'll mix in with this other color. Let's see, there's a spot there that you can do that foot. Or whatever it is. I know it's so technical. I have so many technical terms for all these parts. Alright. So that's good. Now I've got a whole bunch. So I guess what I'm going to do is. Um, I guess I'll just kind of fill them up. Mm -hmm. Thinking of some a little bit of glitter, but I don't really know about glittering them. I'm gonna leave them clear. I'm just gonna put some more in this and just uh, they'll be lighter and just lighten them down. So, so since this is the what we kind of got, I've got plenty left. I'm gonna go ahead and put some on this um, and uh, just get it started with some. And I'm gonna smear that on there and let it go and. Um, that's good for right now, and I will continue. Uh, I'll continue this when I pop these out. Y'all take it easy. I'll be back. Okay, I made these pieces last night. I'm going to pop them out and uh, see if, where they're going to go in here. They're soft enough. I'm bending them up. I made some extras too, some little butterflies from stuff I had left over. These I put a little glitter. Which they're gonna have glitter on the back of them, but that's okay. So I'm not putting gloves on because I'm not doing anything with them right now. These I'm just gonna pull out. You probably can see a little better on these today from the last ones I did. That they have this extra, but you can just pull it. Just pull it right off because it, it's not super hard yet. They're they're very uh, malleable at this stage. Uh, if need be, I have some little scissors. Ah, those are under the edge of the, my tripod. Have some little scissors and uh, 
I can nip off these little pieces if they're, you know, if they don't want to pull off real good, you can just nip them off. So it's kind of cool with that. Of course, you know, I'm, I don't see very good. <laughs> so what I'll do is my little under the sea things here, I'm just going to kind of stick it. But I just want them curved because I'm not, this may not be where I'm going to put it, so. Because I didn't make any. So that one's kind of curved, so that one's good. Some of these don't have to really curve. They're, they're flat enough that they'll just go right on there. Same thing, they can be, you know, kind of trimmed up a little bit. And when these cure all the way, you can't, you can't trim them. It just doesn't work. It'll be too hard. Some of it will be, you know, if it's super thin, but. But you get the idea. And these will stay soft for a little while. I mean, I can make up some stuff here real quick and get them stuck on there. And I was actually trying to decide the best way to do it because I did have some silicone in here. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix silicone in my resin and just do it that way. Um, and so these are, these will just be some glittery shells. They're kind of blobby looking, but they will, they will once they're on there, they will look like, uh, they do look like shells. So, I get this last one cut up. And use old scissors. Kind of maybe designate a pair because they, they, they do get ruined after a while. They're not going to really cut paper or anything else after this. One or two times is not going to really kill them, but anyone who's over, overly particular about their scissors, not a good plan. Okay, same with these. I'm going to poke up my little. Uh, and he's still, see, bendy. Still pretty bendy, which is okay. Get this long snout. So when I go to put him on, I may put him up here somewhere. I don't know. I'm probably going to put him mostly around. I don't know, but you hold on to it around the bottom. So I guess we'll put him around up here. And, uh, you know, you get the idea. These are not going to stick to this because it's not flat enough for me to lay it still. I was thinking about just using some of this Mod Podge to stick this layer to stick this layer of these on. I don't know. We'll see. So let me get these last few out. Like I said, they're still pretty soft and malleable. There's a little, you know, shell. Another bigger starfish. This one has a Funky um, leg, and it always uh, it's it's a fault in the mold. I always forget about it, and I use it anyway. But it has a little bit of a fault mold, but it'll be all right. So anyway, all right. Let's see if my mold my my little miss will come out. I used some um, silicone on her because remember she stuck because this. This mold's about had it, and uh, she's stuck. So I may have that same problem today. She's she's sticking pretty good. Usually they they you know will pop right out, but I don't know as if that the uh, oh spraying the mold with silicone helped because she is not she's just not releasing, and so she'll probably get bent a little bit in this process. But I can uh, kind of flatten her back out. And I'm going to have to break down and get myself another one of these molds. Because she's definitely stuck in there this, this time. So I'm going to try to get her out without like, like, tweaking her up too much. I don't want to stretch her. I really don't care if she bends because I can... Uh, you know, I can strip flatten her back out or what have you, but uh, I have a feeling this is going to be the last time I use this one because this is too much work. They usually just pop right out, and she's really not going to do that. Oh, it makes me sad. 
And she, oh, you know what? She had a lot of this pink stuck in her still. So I have a feeling that this mold, my favorite, is going in the trash because she's not going to come out decently. Well, that really just kind of... I mean, I can feel it, you know, tearing out pieces of this. And I don't really want pink in my thing, so... I might be able to paint her a little bit, but she's definitely, this this uh, mold has definitely had it because it's way too much work. So she's okay, and I'll, I, I can stick her on here. I will use her, but that's probably the last time for that mold, and I'm just going to kind of, I want her to dry, I mean to cure the rest of the way curved, so, so I'm going to go ahead and just squish her down on here. Um, and last but not least, I have, I made another little, uh, octopus. So from, um, uh, just from, uh, experience sake, obviously, I mean, uh, these molds last, because they're, they're, you know, they're designed for, uh, candy or whatever, but, so these, these molds probably last, well, I don't know, I've probably made a hundred of her, probably, maybe not that many, but I've used it a lot, been using it a couple of years, so, I guess I can't complain, I think I got her off Wish for like three dollars or something, so, I just know that I need to order more than one, <clears throat> and she's probably going to go in the trash. So, and then this little guy, I'm just going to try to see where I can stick him. I think we'll put him under the seat. But as you can see, they are still, you know, you can, you, they're malleable yet at this point. So, um, you can put her on here and just kind of, and they will stick. And then, um, I don't know stick, I don't know why I said stick. But they will, they'll conform to the shape yet. So I can put that one underneath here and then <clears throat> put her on the top. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and clean up this piece and I hope she's going to work. Because remember I put, I put uh, silicone in there too, hoping that it would, um, you know, help her come out of the mold. But And what I think I'm going to do, the more I think about it, I may just do some of this Mod Podge underneath and get her stuck down good and then coat it all with resin. So I actually think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to get all my stuff out together and I'm just going to do one piece at a time. I'll be back. Okay, I went ahead and moved my little tripod a little bit closer. What I did was I took and brushed some of this um, pretty, not pretty, it's uh, the Mod Podge, but it's the super high gloss one and it will, it'll dry really, really, really high gloss. So. And uh, just kind of mash her down. Make sure she's sticking every place. Put a little bit underneath her. And I'm not real worried about gro uh, brush strokes because I'm going to, uh, like I said, coat this again with. And I just want to make sure she's stuck down good. And she behaved a little more, a little differently uh, compared to my other resin pieces because I do believe it's because I sprayed that mold with. Um, silicone, which I will not do again. I'll just, I'm going to buy myself another one of these because she is having issues, um, you know, conforming to the shape. So I'm going to put him down over here. I didn't get any underneath him. Do the same thing. I'm going to smash him down. So I'm just going to kind of, till they stick real good, these bigger pieces I'm going to kind of smash on. Yes, they have the sticky stuff on there. I mean, the, uh, whatever. Just kind of making sure that they stay stuck. She's starting to pretty good. This doesn't take long for it to get tacky. Probably could have used like E6000 or something like that, but I didn't. And they do, they do take this shape. So it just takes a minute for her to get sticky on there. Just trying to figure out what exactly that I'm going to do, you know, with them. If I'm going to, I probably will rubber with some paint, something. I don't know yet. I, you know, 
anybody who watches my videos knows I talk a lot, but also knows I'm kind of unsure when once I get started because usually I'm doing something I haven't done before because I I can't have to move on. I, I get tired of the same thing. So, and that's just kind of the way I am. I just get tired of the same thing. So she's pretty much sticking up here good. Making sure that he's sticking good. As they dry. This little tentacle. Oh, I don't want it smashed fat or flat. Okay, so he's sticking pretty good. And then basically I'm just gonna come and stick some more of these pieces on here wherever. Just kind of randomly. Let's just put a blob and put this guy here. See where she'll stick. Where he'll stick. I mean, gravity turns my little wheel. My little wheel goes to turn in here. Okay, I'm just gonna stick him here. And again, I'm just blobbing some of this. And once this dries good, it dries super clear. Then I'll come back and do some. Uh, I'll come back and put some. Uh, silicone over it and I may do a few pieces at a time because I do want gravity to work with me not against me and if I put something upside down too long if it's not stuck good you know what's gonna happen to it it's gonna come off so I may just do a few pieces at a time and uh, let's see what we get okay so there's that I know some people won't like this but that's all right not everybody likes everything that I do but that's okay because they don't have to I don't care it doesn't bother me see this one's gonna be a little fun to get stuck on here brushing good I think I stuck my shirt on there <laughs> however they'll stick is, however is how I'm gonna leave them I guess that's basically what I'm gonna do I want to make sure they stick I don't want to, you know, lose them before I ever put any stuff on them, for sure. Okay, so there's one stuck on there. And I think I may wait about five or ten minutes and come back and, and add some more, you know, kind of. Because, like I said, I don't want to work against, against gravity. Because it definitely is, it, it definitely will work against gravity. Alright, okay, so as you can see, I'm just going to continue to keep adding pieces to it I'm using my finger now to kind of rub this down, make sure everything sticks good. Um, and then once I get everything on there and this sets up, I will coat it with some resin and I will show that to y'all when I get through when this process is, is all the way finished. So right now all I'm doing really is just adding pieces and um you know making sure that that's tacky and they stick because as long as they you know they're there and affixed i can once this uh dries i'll go back and cover it with resin and then they'll be sealed in it there won't be any question about them coming off but right now basically all i'm doing is just going around and making sure my pieces are staying stuck um as these whoops see like that as these dry Okay, let me put another, I'm just kind of using little dabs of this and try not to use too, too much because I, it takes forever to dry and it has to be completely, completely dry before I resin because if it's not, it never will dry. It has to be, it has to be completely dry, um, you know, before I, before I resin it. Not that it would do anything or change the, the texture but uh, they just would never dry underneath there and we want it to be dry all the way and I had thought about getting the um, heat gun out and kind of you know putting some little heat to it to help speed it along but I'm not going to anyway you see this process I just add these to this and uh, and then when they're dry I'm gonna resin it and this is actually the first time I've done one of these cups like this. I usually only add like one little piece and do it when the resin is wet. So this is a little bit different. That's okay because we like to try things new. All right. Oh, 
Very good. All right, it's all done. Put the last coat of resin on it. Not super practical, but it certainly is fun. Uh, I took the painter's tape off and it kept the, you got a little piece right here, so let me take off. Um, and it kept the resin from the Mod Podge on the, on the painter's tape kept the ra raisin, the resin from leaking underneath. So that's all I got to do now is take this off without killing myself because I'm really bad with these. I have a tendency to cut my fingers with these. Oh, and this one's a bad one. Uh, anyway, so there you have it. I'm going to take this little piece off. Oh, there it comes. Why was I trying to use the knife? I don't know. So, anyway. There we go. All done. All cured. So cute. Got to do a little bit of cleaning up with the X-Acto here and all. But, anyway, this is not super practical. It's probably not something that you would do. But, you know, hey, it's fun. And that's what it's all about. And I'm going to try to think up something fun. Another fun project to do. Wouldn't that be interesting? Maybe I... Maybe another, not under the sea, maybe we can do a sky one, I don't know. Anyway, y'all be good, and have a really, really good day. Thanks.